We do have some heat on the way. This is the first significant summer heat that we've seen in quite some time. We did see a little bit of a heat wave come through uh, around springtime, but again, we're seeing temperatures that are gonna be pushing those 90s and even some triple digits. So some reminders as we head into the weekend, cause some of you have a long weekend ahead. It is officially 4th of July weekend, believe it or not, we are here. So make sure to stay hydrated, wear those lightweight and light colored clothing, reduce your time outdoors, find that shade, and please do not leave your pets or any people in those vehicles, not even for a quick errand inside, say, a gas station to grab a snack or a drink. Just make sure to bring everybody indoors and keep everybody safe. As we see this heat uh, moving into our area, it's not here yet. We are waking up to those widespread gray skies across the central coast, seeing a little bit of drizzle out there this morning, very similar to morning as what we were seeing yesterday as far as that cloud cover and those temperatures. And that's where we're gonna stay this afternoon too. Not much change happening this afternoon. Trough low pressure is still hanging out with us today. That will be the case somewhat as we head into tomorrow. It's still kind of there, but it is starting to move off to the east. Eventually it will be absorbed into the regular weather flow. And then we will be making room for ridge of high pressure to be building into our area. This starts really on Thursday. And when I say those uh, that heat is coming, it's really gonna be focused on those interior locations. So we are gonna to start to see some of those 80s and 90s as we head into Thursday. On Friday, we'll start to see some of those 90s, more of those hundreds out there. And by Saturday, we are really gonna see that heat take off. Saturday looking like the warmest day of the week where we are gonna see lots of 90s out there and we are gonna see those triple digits. Uh, some locations such as the San Antonio Valley, Parkfield, uh, the Pinnacles. Many people like to hike the Pinnacles, especially on a holiday weekend. We're going to see temperatures around 105 degrees. So do be prepared for that if you do have those plans outdoors. Now, different story around the coast. We still have that persistent onshore flow. That's going to help to keep the coastal locations a bit more cloudier and a bit cooler. Now, with that said, we will have some downsloping winds coming off the Santa Cruz Mountains. Santa Cruz, when this happens, you typically tend to warm up a bit. So if you do want to enjoy that beach day on Friday and Saturday, Santa Cruz is the place to be. And that is because we continue to have that northwest wind. That is why we're going to keep those clouds on the southern portion of the bay. We'll see some clearing on the north side of the bay. And inland, we're going to see plenty of sunshine again this afternoon. Temperatures overall on average are going to be very similar, if not just a couple degrees warmer compared to yesterday. Around the coast, we're going to see very similar temperatures this afternoon. And then those low clouds will move back in through the overnight hours. And again, we are going to be waking up to those widespread low clouds yet again tomorrow morning. Again, not much change in our morning pattern and then we will have the chance to see some patchy drizzle as well. Temperatures for you today where those low clouds will be hanging out. We're going to see those low 60s around the peninsula warming up as we head into the north side of the bay mid to upper 60s. Some 80s though happening in the Santa Cruz Mountains today. We still have that marine influence in Hollister so we'll still be in those low 70s today in Hollister but as you head into the Santa Clara Valley we're going to start to see those mid 70s even some 80s in Morgan Hills 65 in Salinas heading south into the Salinas Valley. We'll start to see some of those 70s in Soledad warming up very quickly as we continue down to the county line, mid 70s and even some mid to upper 80s in places like the San Antonio Valley and Parkfield. So already kind of warm out there for our far interior locations. But again, around the coast, we'll remain on the cool side. I'll have your seven day forecast here coming up.